ladies and gentlemen, this young woman was taking birth control and she decided to stop using it and her hair fell out. And you know, a lot of the alopecia that you see out here comes directly from the birth control. Now, is it the case with every woman? No, because some women, it is just something that runs in the family. This young woman got it from the birth control. So, it, you know, I, I can even remember incidents. Um, some of my friends, when we were all on birth control, it didn't affect me uh, too bad. I didn't have too many problems with it. But I would look at like their pictures before they got on birth control and after you could clearly tell their hair thinned out from taking birth control. So it can have an impact on many women out here. You know, sometimes I think the extra hormones is just not good for everybody. So let's get into this story. I stopped taking birth control and lost clumps of my hair. It was a living hell. So um, her alopecia came directly from taking birth control. And um, she said it was a nightmare, and I'm sure it is. After taking contraceptives for 10 years, Chancy Sessions in Alabama, um, she's from Alabama. I wonder if she's related to Jeff Sessions, just wondering, um, said that she lost 60% of her hair in a matter of two months. And doctors, uh, false assertion that birth control cessation doesn't cause any damage to the body. So we know in her case, it's definitely false. BS, I literally went through living hell for the past four months. And every time I would go to the doctors, they would say, oh, birth control will help this. Your birth control is lacking. Let's up your dose. Uh, it will help this. In February, she posted a TikTok and she said the birth control, don't mess you up. Uh, that's bad. She wrote over a clip that shows her patches of missing hair. And she got more than 9,000 views. Sessions claimed she immediately went back to the gynecologist to report her traumatic experience. But the doctor told her that shedding is normal. Yes, yeah, it might be normal, but not like that. There's no way you can look at this and say this is normal. That's not normal. Uh, some doctors are just not good doctors. Uh, but the doctor told her the shedding is normal and then reportedly suggests she go back on birth control. I truly felt like my life was ending, Sessions told BuzzFeed. I knew something was up before it. Um, so she said um, that no one around her was taking her seriously when they saw all of her hair falling out. That's crazy. My in-laws and parents kept stating that it was due to stress. And I was a very um, annoyed by it because I knew it was most certainly not. I was in the middle of a truly one of my happiest moments of my life on my honeymoon in Bora Bora and Tahiti when I first noticed something was up. Mm -mm -mm. So her hair came out like this over a two month period and her doctor is telling her this is normal. Wow, she should really sue that doctor. Mm -mm -mm. The dermatologist told Sessions she was amid a hormonal shock as blood tests and a biopsy determined that going off of birth control had triggered alopecia. Sessions had suffered from, uh, wow, so she said that the hair loss occurred in wake of, um, they're telling her from hormonal shock and her hair abruptly started falling out. And 
she had stopped taking the daily contraceptive and her hormones just went haywire. So, I mean, I understand what they're saying and they're right. It can trigger that. But why couldn't the doctor correctly diagnose her and kept telling her to just go back to the birth control pills? I wouldn't have done that either especially if that's something you're trying to get away from. And it seems like she just got married and they probably, you know, going to have children. So she would have had to go off of the birth control. So the onset occurred over a two to three month period, according to the National Library of Medicine, after the regrowth begins at three to six months. Though hair loss is, you know, a more uh, longer lasting in some. So, you know, there's a chance she could get her hair back. But, you know, there's also that chance it won't come back. You know, so what? She's stuck wearing wigs for the rest of her life? (sighs) Mm -mm -mm. So she says, I'm grateful for the amount of hair I still have. It it could be much worse. I've seen it a lot worse, Session said in a follow-up video. I have seen uh, 7 to 10 ball patches on my scalp. Yeah, I've been wearing a hat for two months because of how bad my hair is. And I'm grateful. In fear she would lose her locks, Session said that she bought a wig, uh, but... To her surprise, she noted that her hair grew back just as quick as it fell out. Well, good for her. I mean, that's real good. So she said it was peach fuzz, and now she has about two inches back. And so this is what she told uh, BuzzFeed. It's nothing to rave about, she said, in a May TikTok update. They're so tiny, but uh, that alone is just so comforting to me. Yeah, well, I mean, so there's a chance it can all come back, but that is a horrible and very emotional thing to go through when something like this happens, you know? And ladies and gentlemen, y'all gonna have to tell me what you think about this one. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.